Welcome, guys, to the Infected. Now, it's good to be back in this game. It has been quite a while since I've played this. Uh, it probably used to be up there with one of my favorite survival games. I used to play a, a fair bit of it. Um, it has been quite a while. I think the last time I jumped in was during... Just briefly during the last update they done. Uh, where they included the the Vambi bosses um, and the frogs and a few other things. Uh, I think there was a couple of storage crates as well added to the game. But yeah, that was just very brief. I jumped in. I didn't really do a playthrough that time around. So I've never actually completed the game. I've gotten a fair bit of the way through it, but that was probably, oh, I would say about at least 12 months ago, maybe even longer since I've, I've jumped in and given this a proper go. So, so yeah, they, they have recently done a major, major update. So basically a complete overhaul of the game. We've got a whole new map. Now, this looks a lot bigger than what it used to be. Um, I'm not sure if it is actually larger in size compared with the old map. It certainly looks a lot larger. Um, it looks way more interesting, that's for sure. So, I remember on the old version, there used to be, like, the roads were basically just straight. And I think they were kind of in, like, a grid. So, it was very plain quite a boring map um the other thing they've done is they have upgraded the ai so they've added a few more enemies in the game um which look amazing from what i've seen um that was actually one thing i was really hoping they would do with the game i was hoping definitely for a, a kind of map upgrade or even just the roads. I mean, the the old layout um, used to be very bland, very basic. Uh, but yeah, I was really hoping for the AI to get an upgrade. So it used to just be Vambies, which were like, I think they were meant to be half vampire, half zombie type enemies. Um, so yeah, they, they were okay, but you know you would get over it because that was the only enemy you would come across and you would only normally see them where there was a bit of kind of like residential area or a, a POI. Um, so now I believe they wander, I believe, anywhere within the map so they could sort of turn up anywhere. And yeah, there's a few more enemies added. So... I have not yet seen any just jumping into the game for the first time in a long time. So very excited to be here. Very excited to have you guys along for the journey. Um, the other thing they've added is this quad bike or this ATV. So that's pretty cool that we get it from the get go straight away because it is quite hard to, uh, to move around the map very slow going especially a map of this size so that's going to come in very handy right away um, I'm not sure if they have added more in the way of like equipment tools and weapons and uh, building resources or if they've upgraded the actual base building aspects of the game I'm not too sure but we will discover all of that now it seems a bit jittery at the moment I think it's dropping frame rates. I'm not quite sure what it is. It might be my mouse is a bit too sensitive. But it just seems a little bit jittery. Um, so we'll see how we go with that. But first of all, we need to repair our bike. So... Okay, examine the all-terrain vehicle, ATV, to learn what's required for operation. And search the nearby area for the supplies and parts necessary to repair the vehicle 
by pressing E. Once the ATV is repaired, press F to bring up the next task. Alright, so I just need to get used to the controls again. And that's a little bit tricky in the beginning. Okay, let's collect everything that we can at this stage. I'm just going to wander around here. I just want to see what's down here. Not much by the looks of it. Okay, yeah, so we got the frogs. They are a handy food source. They look poisonous, but they're actually not. They are edible. Screws, okay. Here's a couple more tires. Yeah, I think my mouse is a little too sensitive. I might have to adjust that. It's just making the game a bit jittery. Okay, did that add it? Oh yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, okay, it takes screws as well. Oh, well, that's handy. They've got all the stuff we need laid about the area. Gas can. Another gas can. Awesome. There's another tire. We'll just go get this one. See, I think you can search the rubbishes now. Awesome. Okay. Let's go whack this on. Okay. Let's just whack. Oop. Out of stamina. Is this the last one? I think it was. Okay, what do we need? So we got four ties and screws, iron ingot. Okay. Let's go search upstairs. Yeah, I love the feel of this game. Very eerie. We got bone, hemp, and I can't remember what a lot of those things are used for. Uh, excellent, two iron ingot, wire, feathers. I remember the feathers being very handy for something. Maybe for the arrows, for the bow. Okay, so that should be it. Should be ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so I guess the next thing we got to do is find a base location. So I did have a look at the map before. I'm thinking we'll possibly head up here. I do want to be somewhere where there's fish. So I'm hoping there's fish up here. Let's just see the best way to get there. So if we go left then left and then kind of just follow it all the way till the end of the road so left left and all the way okay. and this is so much better having an ATV it's a game changer right here Oh, that's right. So they've added vehicles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Electrical parts, oil, and okay. Let's take that. Continue on. Yeah, the map is looking so much better. Even the fact they've added old uh, vehicles along the road to loot. That's cool. I was always hoping that was another thing they might do. Just to make the world feel lived in. Because that was a thing. The old map was very bland. Didn't feel... What was 
is that? Down like a grizzly. Oh. Oh, is that the bike making those noises? Yeah, the bears in this game are terrifying. Okay. Alright. Biofuel. Okay, that's right. You gotta harvest these. You can make a crate to store them. Which we will do eventually. Yeah, this mouse, I've got it way too sensitive. I'll change all of those settings before I jump on next time. I'll do a few tests. Okay. So we go left here. Wait. Is it the next left? No, this left. Okay, and then we can either go all the way till we get to that T-junction and go left. And then right. Let's do that. So I'm guessing there's a lot more in the way of resources now. With ore. I'm seeing a lot of interesting looking rocks around the place. Yeah, we have a seagull. Harvest him. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if they're all just stone. I know you can get clay. I'm hoping you can get iron and different ores from some of these. They used to just be in the caves. I'm not sure if they've changed any of that. I did notice on the map there's a few cave locations. What's that? Mechanical parts. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, we don't have enough room. Wait, we had storage space in the back of here. Okay, so let's... Oh, how do you... Oh, that's how you do it. Quick transfer, shift and right click. Okay, let's put most of this in. Hang on to whatever we may be using to craft. Seeds can go in there. Alright. Yeah, that's so handy having storage on the back of this. But yeah, we want to try and lay down a base as quick as we can before nightfall. Um, I think our guy runs out of energy as well pretty quickly. Like, he needs sleep. I think if you try to push through the first night, then halfway through the second day, you sort of, sort of just run out of um, stamina and he gets dizzy and just needs to sleep. Big. This handles pretty well. It is a bit touchy. But I don't mind the way it handles. I just gotta get used to it. Yeah, let's take a left. Now we follow this all the way, I'm pretty sure. seen much in the way of buildings yet. Yeah, the map does seem way bigger. 
I wonder if there's different biomes as well. So there used to be a few different biomes, not many. I think there was kind of just like a desert biome, a swamp biome. Yeah, I wonder if there's still swamps and crocodiles in the game. Okay, so we go right here and then just follow it all the way. Basically traveling the ride across the map. But yeah, I think that, that spot's gonna be a good spot to build. Nothing worse than when you start building in a spot and then you later discover an even better spot. I normally do that. that that'll probably be the case in this game. Not knowing the map. I hope we don't run out of fuel. Continue going. It's down there. Oh, whoa, whoa. Can we hit the chicken? Just see if that... No, didn't hurt him. Dude, there's cucumbers. I'm just gonna grab these. These are very handy. Give us our vitamins that we need. There's a goat. Okay, we should be getting close. We haven't seen any buildings yet. Just down here. All right. So let's just see how deep this is. Oh yeah, here we go. Hoping there's fish around here. Is that a waterfall? I wonder where that is. Up here. Okay. Maybe we try and build up here. Or oh, over there looks pretty good. Let's continue a bit further. I do want to be close to the road. 
fairly close to the road. head over there yeah let's do it we definitely need to get down a base pretty quick it's gonna get dark on us I think it's definitely late afternoon okay, let's go this way we run into a grizzly bear soon This looks really cool. Okay, we're going to build over there for sure. I think my guy needs a drink or food. <laughs> Just leave the ATV here. Okay, what's my guy need? Where's my stats gone? Oh man. Oh yeah. Okay, he's thirsty as. Whoops. Okay, everything else is looking alright. We do need some protein at some stage. Oh, wow. Okay. So we gotta craft a spear. And it's starting to rain. Let's just see if we can... No, we can't get up there. Okay, we need to start crafting. Craft that. Okay, we need... Do we have another stone? Let's just um, craft the stone blade. We need some plant fiber, we need some sticks for a spear. Alright. I think we're going to start building here, guys. Let's do it. Is that a cave? No. This is it. This is the location, I reckon. Chuck these over here. Try and get a shelter up. Uh, furniture, storage, no. Where are the shelters? Ah, oh, here we go. 
Uh, must be built within a land claim. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh. Okay, here we go. So let's just chuck this over here. I'm just going to chuck the shelter down the back for now. Need four logs. Okay. Get a campfire down. Yeah, this mouse is driving me nuts. Okay, what do we need? Small stones, firewood. Okay, we need a pickaxe. And we need a spear. What do we need for this? Okay, we need to start getting stones and sticks. this onion another one here definitely need some protein Bits on these bushes now, which is so handy. Forgot about that. Okay. So let's craft a spear. Craft that. And pickaxe. Stone blade. Okay. There we go. Alright. Oh, was that a bird? How do we throw the spear again? Ah, oh, that's right. Okay. Holy, this mouse. Way too sensitive. Oh, we got him. Okay, let's go cook this up. Just get some firewood. Uh, we got bark chips, we can chuck that on. Okay, we need more stone. If you dark then. <laughs> oh. I wonder how hard he is to kill. Where's our spear? Actually, no, we can't do much with him. We need a butcher's table. Ah, uh, okay. There's a frog. Take him. I just want to get this fire going before it gets dark. Got these over here. 
Uh, okay, we need firewood. I need to drop some of this stuff. Um, yes. Drop, 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 drop. Uh -oh, yes. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, we need some more. Beautiful. Okay, let's chuck some more firewood in this. Ship quick. No. All right, there we go. So, what I might do, I need some water. Oh, it's dark. Do we need, do we actually need water now? Yes. Okay. Oh, man. Where's your spear? Yeah, there's water just over here. some meat, eat a bunch of these, thought we had more meat, so we killed that pigeon, that only give us feathers. So let's, what do we need next? We probably, probably need the uh, saw bench. So workbench, we will need that. But this is more important at the moment. So let's, yeah, let's just put it here for now. Okay. How do I cancel this? Oh, tab. Then that takes me here every time. Oh well. Okay, so saw bench. Uh, we definitely want storage. So let's just lay down a few blueprints of what we need. So storage. Place that here. We need a couple of them. Okay. We will actually we'll lay down two saw benches. Put them side by side. Okay, and we want a log storage or log stand. We put down two of these as well. 
Okay. But I need... was it stick? Yeah, sticks. Logs. It's all of these sticks, please. Beautiful. Chuck one log in here. Uh, what do we need for the bed? Let's maybe place that down. We're going to need that. So furniture, bed. Oh no, we need a foundation. Okay, we can't just plonk that anywhere. Okay, I don't think we're sleeping tonight, guys. That's alright, we'll focus on getting the build started. If we can get some foundations down, at least we can make a, a bed. Yeah, this game is super fun once you get into it. Takes a little bit to get going, but it's such a cool game. I've been wanting to play it again for ages, actually. Okay, so we need planks. How do I pick these up? Oh, I don't have enough space, do I? Yeah, let's, let's chuck the uh, buck chips on the fire. We want to get some storage going as soon as we can. Yeah, the game seems to be freezing up a bit as well. I'll definitely have to play around with the settings a bit later on. More bark chips. Let's just chuck them out for now. Okay. Get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, there is a water collector as well, actually. Yeah, this thing here. This is very handy for when it rains. Uh, is that undercover? Oh, it is. Okay, how do I cancel that? Oh, delete. Yeah, we don't want it undercover, but it's handy to, to have near the fire, so let's chuck it down here. Just put it there. You're right. Okay, we need planks for that.
need planks for just about everything. Yeah, we'll have to lay down at least one foundation just to get a bed down. Pretty sure the foundations are just four logs from memory. Okay. Awesome. How are we doing for water? I don't know why my stats disappeared. I must have hit something. was it yeah remove the HUD which is okay I normally like the HUD to be removed but um just want to keep an eye on my food and water and stuff okay I've got no idea what it was I'll figure that out later right let's lay down a foundation so I think we'll build kind of in this space um, so we might start it off over here oops okay might as well lay down the blueprints Just started off like this for now. So it's at least decent size, just for starters, and then we will expand it right out and eventually probably go up. Oh, we might be able to get up onto there. See, that'll be cool. All right. So let's see if we can lay down a bed. Would be nice to sleep. No. Seems really loud that chopping noise. Yeah, let's get this going. Man, those seagulls scare me every now and then. Oh, chicken. Where's that chicken? Hmm. Not sure. There he is. Come here, come here. Nice. All right. Uh, where are those logs? Did I chop some logs down? Thought I did. Maybe not. There's one. Three? Cool. See, we need some planks, don't we?
Okay. Let's lay this bed down. There we do. Six planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, five. Okay, now we can sleep. Seven in the morning. Beautiful. All right. Okay, well, I guess I'll just continue on with the build. Get some walls up. At least, and um, maybe a bit of a roof. But it would be cool to build right up and across onto there, eventually. Pretty sure you could do that. Okay, I do want to get the ATV over here as well. Where is the nearest road on this side? Oh yeah, it's just up here. So the ATV is over here. I don't know if we can get it across here. I'll just have a look. Okay, how's our stats looking? Oh, we need some water, of course. cook up some meat. Yeah, we better have some breakfast first. Oh, it doesn't sound too happy. He's low on protein. Yeah, I think wa uh, water is going to be the main thing main issue each day that's spoiled food As well eat all of this. So when does this spoil? 24 minutes. Okay, let's cook it up. So we got this beef stew packages, but um, I think there's five of them except for that. Yeah. But yeah, we want to try and reserve them. winter not sure how fast winter comes around but you definitely want to prepare for it it's pretty harsh when it does come get these blizzards tearing through and um, if you're outside without protective clothing it messes you up pretty quickly okay let's try and get this ATV over here And I can focus on the, um, the build. Yeah, this is a cool spot. Okay, we should be able to get through here. Yeah, here we go. This is a prime location. At least we can build a bit of a, um, like, barricade around the place as well. So we're backed up by the cliff. Yeah, we definitely want to fortify it. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to start collecting a bunch of um, timber. Start... Getting as many uh, planks 
and timber into this foundation. Start putting some walls in. Now you can build a log cart as well. So let's just... There it is there. Okay, let's just lay this down. See what we need for it. Okay, wood log, planks, and nails. Nails. Okay, how do you do the nails again? I know you need the iron ingots. Uh, do we need the workbench for that? I think we do. Okay, so workbench, we need planks and nails for that. Ah, oh, anvil. That's what we need. But we need iron ingot. Five. Yeah, so this is what we need for the nails. Um, let's just lay down at least the blueprints for now. That'll remind me, remind me what we need. And yeah, I guess I focus on the build. So what I might do, guys, is I'll continue on with this. I'll at least get a roof over our heads. And um, maybe craft a few other things, a few more tools that we're going to need. I would like to craft a bow as well. I forget what we need for that. So stick one, rope three. Okay. Now I can't remember how to craft the rope either. Yeah, we got plenty of things we can craft throughout the game, but we need to start from the ground up. Um, so I might just craft what I can. And then we may have to go for a bit of a loot run. I don't remember if I found any nails. Uh, we got some screws. Yeah, so I, I I might at least get this this base started, and um, then we'll look at doing some loot some loot runs. Now, I'm not sure if we can see them on the map either, where the towns are at. It shows you where the caves are. Don't think it shows you where the towns are, so that'll be interesting. I wonder what this is. Looks like that could be the swampland. Where the crocs are at. Okay, yeah, it doesn't show you where the towns are by the looks of it. So that'll be interesting. We'll just have to do some exploring. So yeah. Alright guys, well I think I'll leave this episode here and I'll continue on off camera. And uh look forward to seeing you guys soon. So thanks for joining me guys, and until next time, take it easy.